Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush. Today's video, actually, I'm not sure when this is gonna be shown. It's probably winter time. I got a backlog of videos that we haven't gotten to yet. But today I'm in uh, northern Wisconsin. We're fishing a river here, a uh, place I fished a lot uh, growing up, so it's kind of cool to be back. I haven't fished this river in, oh man, seven, eight years. But uh, there's some good smallmouth in here. Uh, I, I might showcase a, a sneaky little bait that I'm excited to try. I haven't really used it a whole lot but I know it's gonna hopefully work. As you can see, the leaves are off the trees, but it's one of those really warm late fall days. My buddy Paul, you've seen him in past videos with me. He's with me today, and he's wearing shorts and flip-flops, all right? So. <laughs> Insane old man. It is what it is. Insane old man. That's all coming up. All right, so this body of water, we're not gonna find the giant smallmouths, okay? Uh, we're, we're looking for a, what, 19, 20 pound bag would probably be a good day here. Yeah. So if we can get a four pound average, we're doing something right. We're gonna probably catch a lot of three, three and a half pounders today. Uh, it's just that, you know, yes, Wisconsin's known for giant, giant smallmouth, but. So it really depends on the body of water that you're in. You know, every lake and river is different. Here, there's just a lot of fish and 20 pounds is a good bag. Paul, you're hooked up on the first cast. It's going to be a good day. Good one, too. Oh, he come off. Oh, man. He came off on me. It was a decent fish, too. It was a big one. The time we needed. I got one. There he is. That a boy. I just lost contact. I I yeah. had good contact with the bottom and then lost it and he bit. That's what mine was like too. Man, it's been a while since I caught a smallmouth in this river. Decent one. Yeah. There we go. Good start. So this is actually, I mean, this is what we're expecting to catch. This kind of size smallmouth today. Beautiful you? fish. What's that? Did I hit you with my back? No. Yeah. There he is, but we caught I caught him on a unique little bait. A Helgramite. Fresh Baits makes this. And they were nice enough to uh, send me a bunch of uh, a bunch of these baits and I just rigged it on a uh, a Ned rig, so a Z-Man Nedlocks jig head. And the Helgramite, so it's really buoyant. It floats. It's got a lot of uh, vibration, and uh, I think I'm going to be able to catch a bunch of big smallmouth with this uh, in the future. So the game plan is just hit a lot of spots. You got riprap, you got wood, you got all kinds of stuff. There is current in this river, so a lot of current. A lot of current. It's not crystal clear water. Tannic, Paul, Tannic. as they say. It's tannic. You shoot all these weeds that fall down all the time. And early in the, earlier in the fall, when you're fishing crankbaits here, you'll catch as many leaves as you catch small Sure. Shots. Okay. Jumper. You used to catch it on those six pounders. I know. Nice chunky fish. Not the healthiest one, but he's got some issues. Wow, what happened to him? I don't know. Good five in here. You want to bring in a five? No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Since, since I caught a five. Yeah. There's one. There you go. <laughs> Pink. Whoop. Oh. 
enough wine down there to go around the world place. Well, I just broke off, so I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to put a chartreuse head just because the water stained a little bit. Maybe that'll entice a, another bite or two. Good one. Yesterday I saw a bunch of guys throwing spinner baits, but I didn't see him catch one. There's one. Oh, that was oh. a decent fish. Johnny, go. No. So we had to move around quite a bit today. Pretty neat river. A lot of structure, a lot of wood that you can see, uh, some, some rock structure. We really are just kind of fishing eddies, breaks, pockets off of the coves, of course lay down. So we lost a lot of bait because I was fishing exposed hook. But sometimes that's what you have to do. Now those fresh baits, those Helgramites, uh, they definitely are the deal. I use a little Z baits bass syrup as a scent, and uh, caught a few fish so far. Well, here's a decent one. Okay. Looks like. Yeah. That's a good one. Three and a quarter. You know? On the chartreuse head. On the bridge. Wow. A real one. There's one. There you go, St. River fish from the man. You've caught a few thousand fish in this river. Yes. Maybe that's what we're spotting on there, Travis. Yeah. It's working. I'm impressed. Listen, this is like the average size here. You know, we're not we're not gonna catch five, six pounders today. We're just gonna hang out on the beautiful river in our flip-flops and catch giant bass.
he's good. He's strong. Oh, man, I'll tell you. That's a good fish. Come on. That's not a good fish. That's a good fish for here, man. That's for a here. Three pounder. Three pounder? Let me see him. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to be strong. Eat if that's three pounds. All right, Paul, we had a good day on the water. We caught some fish, fresh, fresh is the deal. That's what I did most of my damage with, the Helgramites. I'm gonna have a link below in the description of uh, you know their website. You can pick some of these up if you want. But it was a tougher day than expected. We didn't fish long, only a couple hours. Caught some fish, but that's kind of how it is here. You don't really get in into them like- Yeah, yesterday was a good day. Caught about 30 yesterday. Sure. Uh, caught bigger fish yesterday mm. we got four over four pounds which is pretty good for yeah this system we had 15 pounds whatever yeah whatever it was good getting out hey guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as always until next time we'll see you guys on the water